Hello everybody. In, uh, in the mid 18, 1800s, there was an advert that said, um, God created all man and Sam Colt made them equal. Well, this is where that story began. So this is a 1836 Colt Patterson. This was the first revolver that had a rotating cylinder firing through a single barrel and if you cocked the gun it would um, it would rotate the cylinder prior to that you had like revolving barrels that you had to turn by hand fire turn by hand fire and the cylinder was also the barrel so Colt designed this in 18 36 the first ones were in 28 caliber and then a little bit later in 36 and then 36 became the caliber uh, eventually and uh, as like from 1840 somewhere there they had a integrated loading lever over here to load the cylinders with this one you still had to take apart so anyway I'll put that aside for a minute this is the case this is this is a, a reproduction by Pieta it's got a spare spare cylinder it's got a the powder flask is like a speed loader and uh, you just put that in there push down on it and it drops a measured charge into the cylinder I'm not going to do it because this thing's full of powder and then uh, you uh, um, put the uh, put your balls on there and then you insert this into the side of the revolver i'll show you in a minute and then you push the uh you know that you push the the uh the balls into into the um into the chambers and then and then insert it back into the into the revolver and then in the back yeah if i can get it loose and there's a uh let me close this so you got a decent backdrop and then there's a uh, a nipple prick so that you can clean out the uh the nipple and then on that side is a uh, nipple wrench so you can take the nipple out of this cylinder so anyway so I mean those are the nipples over there and you can reach in there with that wrench and uh, cleaning rod and this is the capping tool um, there's the caps and then you'll reach in um, you'll reach in there put a cap on the uh, on the nipple pull it put a cap on the nipple pull it and the cap stays back uh, so this is all obviously a reproduction but it's kind of made in the in the spirit this is a mold out of brass so there's the the balls over there so you close that up pour your molten lead in there and then cut the uh, the sprue off and then when you open it up got your round balls there back to the revolver so it's got a folding trigger so the triggers out the way when you cock it the trigger presents itself <laughs> and uh, if I, how, how do you like that that hammer and uh, to take it apart you knock this wedge out and that's where the loading tool goes in so once you've loaded up your cylinder and that you pull the barrel off you put that loading tool into the into that same um, slot where the wedge goes in and then you can force the balls in into the uh, into the gun long long barrel it's like eight inches nine inches so and then it's got some some nice uh, scroll work on the uh, on the cylinder the texas navy bought 180 of these from colt and the navy in like late 1830s in 1843 the texas navy was uh kind of disbanded and those revolvers all went to the texas rangers and it's really that relationship with the texas rangers that put colt on the map and uh and I'll, uh, I'll show you on another video what came after this because of the Texas Rangers. 
Anyway guys, I just think it's a neat piece of history. And uh, I mean, these reproductions are really nice. You can actually shoot them. I mean, they, they're valuable, but they, they're not hundreds or thousands of dollars. We talk again, stay safe.